up guys welcome back to hobby vault my name is skylar and today is mobile suit miss day 10. day 10 here we are you know what my outfit reminds me of one of those aliens from that star trek episode empath you know the ones that can like control everyone's brains <laughs> all right <laughs> i digress i digress so i want to talk about something really cool today uh back in 2017 i went to boynton beach florida and there's a super cool comic book store that also has a bunch of pop culture stuff gundam star wars star trek literally all kinds of collectibles if you ever get a chance to go to boynton florida or you're near there go check out tate's comics coolest place ever anyways <laughs> as i was going through the gundam wall i will put they have they have this statue of RX-78 that looks like an SD Gundam. I'll input those right here. <gasps> that was that was so cool. It's probably my favorite part of the whole trip aside from the beach. But they had this Hobby Japan magazine, but it was wrapped in, in clear paper and this was attached to it. Now, I would not know until I opened up the magazine and I found the feature and I looked at the back and translated it that there is a weapons part specifically for a Gundam that I had already built. It was an HG Transient Glacier Gundam from Build Fighters Hano Tribe. Now, I have not watched many of those series. I have particularly not watched the episode with this guy in it, but I picked this up because it was so striking on the box that I was like, no, I have to build this HG. I mean, look at the box. She already looks cool and it took me like no time at all to look at the sides and be like, you know what? I gotta build this bad boy. Don't know very much about her pilot. You know, when it comes to these series, they, they build their own Gundam models and they fight people with it. Uh, but her name is Lindsay Anagosi. Lindsay Anagosi. There's literally only two pictures on the entire internet of her. One of them comes from the actual manual right here. That is her, that is it. I have not seen her episode, but I highly suggest if you have a kid or like a girl or a brand new beginner, I suggest this HD for them to build. It is very fragile. I will tell you that the wing set right here, be very careful with it. And I also broke the V-fin, not the V-fin itself, but the attachment from the head to the V-fin. So if someone's gonna build this, just watch them, make sure that you have the Tamiya cement ready for it. But I just thought it was so cool. It's a mix of clear parts and non-clear parts. Which is so funny, this is the second clear parts kit that I've featured and that's literally all that I have. I have the Juagu, which you saw the video for, and then I have this. I also have one more clear parts thing, which is kind of a funny story. Uh, it's a PG clear parts P Bandai set for a PG double O razor that I don't own. I think my intention was it was a good deal, I bought it, and I thought I was gonna buy the PG razor, but I never did. Here's the box right here, it's super cool. If you guys have the uh, 00 Razor PG and you guys have been looking for this, let me know because I'm not so sure I'm gonna buy it. But I might just buy the PG just so I can put these clear parts on it because they look pretty cool. You can tell like I literally, I opened the box once and that's it. So if you guys have the 00 Razor or you have it built, show it to me. Uh, I might just get the PG 00 Razor just so I can do this. And then it'll be another clear parts kit that I have on my channel here. <laughs> That's it. That's all I have for clear parts. I don't have any other clear parts uh, unless they're on a unicorn. Back to what we were talking about. Uh, it's called the HG Build Weapon Callet Wilch Fetter. I don't know exactly what that translation is. I might have to look it up. But I opened it up before I saw that I had the kit for it. And I saw that they were these blue clear parts. My thought process on it was even if I didn't have the kits or I didn't know what they went to, I would end up using this for something. But I'm very glad that I actually already had it without even knowing. Now, when I opened the box, there were no instructions, not on the back, not anywhere in it. There's no instructions. It wasn't until I actually went through the Hobby Japan magazine. Look at that Jag Doga. Ooh, this kit's awesome, by the way. It wouldn't be until I went through the pages that I would realize that the assembly guide for it is inside the pages. There's also a really cool feature about the glacier um, in here. If you guys want to see the inside of this magazine, let me know. There's some really cool stuff that some of you might have forgotten about because I sure as heck forgot about it when I was looking through it again. Inside the pages, I found out that this weapon set is for three different kits or interchangeable between three different kits. One of them would be the HG Wing Gundam Zero Hano, the HG Wing Gundam Zero Hano 2, and then my transient Gundam Glacier here. So 
super cool. I do not have those other two kits, but I think I'm gonna pick them up just so that I can have the full set. The manual is inside the pages, and that is what we are gonna use today to make the pieces that are for the glacier. Here is what the weapon looks like for the glacier, and we're just gonna put it together. I had like no intention of like actually adding footage after I built it. I was just gonna put it into the video, but I just have to talk about how I don't think, is this, is this putting it into perspective? Look at how freaking big this thing is. Holy crap. Like this is my face. Are you kidding me? What? It's so cool. I was not expecting it to be this cool. Here's Transient Glacier. Are you, are you, are you kidding me right now? It's bigger than she is. It what 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 what? <laughs> it's gonna look so ridiculous. Hold on a second. Let me put it on her. Holy crap! Oh my god! Look at it. I forgot I used the hands that actually close for it with this particular weapon. I'm able to put it on and do that because I knew that this HG was gonna be so fragile that I went ahead and used the hands that actually hold. The way this one works is this front part of the hand is gonna come off. Let's try to put this bad boy in. So here's the original hand, hold it there. This is going to severely uh, outweigh this model kit. Are you kidding me? Your little tiny hand with this big giant weapon. Holy crap. Um, what? <laughs> I love it, oh my gosh. I was not expecting it to be this cool. Like, here's my head. This is an HG. Like, it's not, it's not a big one. Here's my head. Look, what? Are, are you kidding me? Like, what? <laughs> what the heck? That is so cool. Anyways, uh, so I did find this kit online. Uh, this actual weapons kit. Uh, but it was $45. So I'm gonna try and see if I can find it for a cheaper deal. Um, because that's a little insane, but honestly, I think the weapon itself is worth the $45 <laughs> to pay for it. Like literally, 
that's its original weapon. Looks like the Spear of Longinus from Evangelion. But then we got this bad boy. That's just cool. I think that's really cool. That turned out way better than I thought it was going to turn out. The weapon was already a pretty big deal, but I think this one blows it right out of the water. So in other words, uh, I'm very glad that I made it because now this is super impressive and I can't wait to put it on that shelf there. Whoa! <gasps> and that is it guys. Thank you again as always for all the support. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment or send me a DM on Instagram. Another day of mobile suit mist down and in the books. We have another clear parts kit that we had featured. That's amazing. I might get the razor, who knows? Let me know what you guys think. And thank you as always for watching. I will see you tomorrow for mobile suit mist day. 11. Day 11. That is wild to me. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!